and I am back today is wig out Wednesday so let me get you guys caught up every Wednesday I will be posting videos installing wigs or maybe coloring wigs um, I'm just not sure yet if you guys have any requests you can leave a comment below and just let me know so let's get right into this video as you can see I already mowed my client down and I'm cutting the excess cap off and right now I am taking some got to be glue to melt this cap some more and make it more seamless. Excuse the background noise. So after I do that, I am going to go ahead and take the Ruby Kiss palette that you can find at your local beauty supply store. I believe this palette is a 16, which um, is very good for um, our dark skin tone girls. So I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this cap some more and um then we're gonna go ahead and install this wig um this wig is from a girl in the local area named beyonce um it's from her collection so yeah i want to say this is probably a 12 inch wig i'm really not sure but i believe it's a 12 inch y'all excuse my ashy hands i'm always on camera with ashy hands so when I install wigs, I like to let my clients hold each side of the wig to secure it and have it in place after I line it up and then I will go ahead and um, cut off the excess lace in the back, tie the straps to tighten it to fit her head. Then after that, I will go in and sew down the middle of my wigs. This helps to secure the wigs. So maybe if your client is out and they probably have the wig on for a while, they could be sweating, they could be lifting. They don't have to worry about this wig sliding off their head. It will only like slide back a little bit, but won't come completely off because it's sewn down in the middle. So right now you see me guys taking some more makeup from the Ruby Kids palette and I'm adding it to the lace on the inside. And after that, I'm going ahead and take the Boho Active. That's what glue I love to use. Um, and I'm going ahead and draw a, a pretty, a pretty thick line of glue for my first layer. My first layer is going to be pretty heavy. And then after that, I um, go ahead and use little dots, and I do lighter layers after the first layer. you guys can see I went in and cut the lace and I have three little tabs which helps me pull it back and add in extra glue where spots I might have missed so that's what I'm doing right now after I complete this task I would like to take an elastic band and tie it down to really melt the lace so I let that band sit on for about 15 minutes and after that 15 minutes is up, you will see me remove the band and then I will proceed to hot comb and smooth everything out and pull out the baby hairs. So keep watching, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so like pause. 
please do not pay my client any mind with this face expression that she's making like she's just so over it like I just noticed that but I just had to point that out because I thought that was too funny As you guys see I'm running my hot comb through it again um, as we grow together on my channel you guys will know that I love using my hot comb if you want your install or frontal to lay very flat a hot comb will be your best friend and a wax stick so part wax it hot comb part wax it hot comb it will get your frontal installs the flattest so right now I'm going to go ahead and um, cut this wig into a bob. Kind of didn't have an idea for the style just yet. So pretty much I was going in and cutting the length off. But I end up doing like one side kind of short, push behind the ear. And the other side with like a heavy feathered bang type look. So yeah, you guys continue to watch. And um, after I go ahead and cut it in, I don't know what happened to my clip with me doing the baby hairs, but yeah, it got deleted somehow, so I don't have that clip, so just stay tuned. I will go ahead and cut the um, hairs that I took out kind of like halfway and then I will swoop them with foam wrap and then I will place my client under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes until they dry and then I'll remove the band and then I'll proceed to cut the baby hairs shorter before I go ahead and make them um, kind of hard not too hard but kind of hard so I use a little bit of holding spray to kind of get them hard to stay in place because she didn't want them soft 
I think my only downfall with this wig was that the frontal piece on it was a little too thin. As you get closer to the tracks, it didn't cover as good. It didn't have good coverage. So that's my only con with this wig. But other than that, I love everything else about it. If you guys see that the lights came on and we keep talking and looking elsewhere, I was live on Facebook when I was doing this install. So that's why we keep talking and looking in the other camera. So yeah, just in case you guys were wondering. we have made it to the end of this install um it turned out really cute i love it it's very cute and sexy and just classy but if you guys like how um i did these dark roots on this blonde wig and you would like to know how i achieved this just comment below and let me know so i can do a separate video um i would love to know what you guys would like to see from me as a stylist so just comment below i don't mind trying different styles um, I'm getting better at just recording more so that I can show you guys different stuff that I do and also teach you guys some of this stuff. So this is the end of the video. If you guys like this video and you love this install, just give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So I'll see you guys next time.